let's focus on the technology issue of the june edition for yosha now this talks about the various schemes that have been re revealed let's first talk about atmanirbhar bharat where we have given a significant thrust to technology driven education mainly post covid period and here we have focused on how there has to be a focus on labor land liquidity and laws we have focused on the bold reforms that are to be taken be it the process of taxation be it the process of creating law or a financial system that's required and what are the five pillars that are required for a self-reliant india which focuses on economy infrastructure vibrant democracy and uh, demography and then you have the demand and the system that's there now ease of doing business for the corporates have significantly seen an improvement over the years now private companies which were not listed uh, which having uh, which have their listing on the stock exchange need not to be uh, regarded as listed companies as of now the next uh, initiatives we focus on are the transactions which have been increased by e marketplace so electronic transactions have increased significantly we have focused of on how msmes have been taken a significant role and free food grain distribution of 5 kg of uh, grains and 1 kg of chana per person have been taken into account we are also focusing on the schemes like one nation one ration uh, then we have pm e vidya now this is a multi mode access digital education program where we focus on diksha we, uh, which is a platform for teachers education and teachers uh, content mainly for school education one nation one digital platform we have seen significant increase in the health health reforms which are mainly uh, increased in investments that are seen uh, preparing hospitals for covid situ covid like situations or any other pandemic situations strengthening the lab and the surveillance systems technology 4.0 has been very very important where we are talking about fourth generation in, uh, industrial revolution we are talking about cyber physical systems focusing on intelligent technologies iot's we are talking about smart factories cloud computing big data analytics and so on and so forth so also we have focus on a digital twin technology which talks about the process and the application for decentralization of the decisions that could take place now if we look on to the development of industrialization the first industrialization was based on steam power and water power the second industrialization focused on assembly line and mass production the third focused on electronic and it systems and the fourth focuses on automation systems now post covid there has been further changes that have been witnessed now this talks about creating virtual spaces be it for exhibits be it for seminars in the form of webinars and be it for any other supply chain that could be seen so what is very very important in the pre crisis period we have witnessed a competitive advantage cost reduction Uh, productivity and sustainability however in the post covid we are focusing on recovery and the survival of the businesses through fo focusing mainly on the virtual spaces and how the businesses could transform their way of uh, livelihoods we could say The next is Atal Innovation Mission, which is a uh, method to procure innovation and entrepreneurship in the nation. We have various collaboration uh, options that have been seen. Atal Tinkering Labs for students of class six to twelve has been developed in most of the uh, districts in India. We have nearly five thousand. schools which are working with atl you have atl gandhi challenge which is working with the students and schools along with unicef you have singapore inspire 3.0 atl showcasing the top 6 innovations that have taken place similarly we have the atal incubation uh, centers that are there which are the various startups that have been established to promote the incubation systems in universities and the selected systems we have a new india challenges that are there which are mainly in the form of of being carried out uh, by different ministries how innovation culture could be brought about how they uh, the Uh, empowerment could be done and creating ideas from mind to market bringing them actually in uh, practical consideration then you have the mentor india campaign this talks about collaboration of public corporates and institutions where we are talking about support systems for initiatives to the various mission now this focuses on low cost greenhouse uh, solar energy based projects it could be uh, zero waste energy projects that could be there for increasing productivity uh, Team Premji Foundation has been working greatly to innovate primary education in the government schools in India, and 
in japan when we focus on uh, an approach that was uh, quality india is now focusing on innovation which is a kind of uh, totally new approach to the problem solving we are also focusing on the deserved the unserved and the served underserved areas across india so digital platforms arise through the msmes and this is a partner program of atal innovation mission which has been launched arogya setu app is a digital breakthrough where we are trying to track the covid 19 uh, patients and it's easy to install however uh, there have been security and privacy issues related to it but yes that this has been a cutting edge technology with algorithms artificial intelligence and bluetooth technology being used simultaneously and then we are also focusing on security vulnerability issues if there is any flaw that has been seen in the app that could be addressed through the following email id and then through the arogya setu you could have a significant uh, benefits that could be seen for responsible disclosure of the concepts similarly similar to this we have numerous other apps that are seen you have chatbot which is a chatbot at the whatsapp itself and you can have queries related to covid that could be answered through the bot you have corona coverage which is a kind of tracker application that has been seen launched by the ministry of uh, electronics and it along with ministry of health uh, we have the national helpline number which is there and a toll free number 1075 uh, bhim app again has been launched you have rupee cards that are being launched by the national payment corporation of india now all these are breakthrough in the technological sectors uh, the indian railways has been started with the irctc connect app which uh, focuses on 24/7 services on no time based checks that are there you have uh, government e market places that are being developed umang app is a new age governance where we are trying to integrate and unify the various uh, platforms under one hand so these are all the platforms that would be part of the umang app so again important for education you have the swayam and the swayam uh, the swayam app uh, now the swayam educational program we have covered a separate uh, separate video on that you can refer that you have sampark which has been developed by drdo to track the people under quarantine and this can be installed on the smartphones of the covid patients uh, the next is the dbt which is direct to uh, direct benefit transfer the amount or the income going directly into the hands of the workers without any middleman sayog is a survey of india developed e platform which strengthens the public health delivery systems with the help of center and the state and it's one of the part of the nations infrastructural development we have the garib kalyan package which has been released by the government where you need not to rush for the withdrawal and an insta installment of 500 per month uh, can be uh, done or credited directly to the women beneficiaries similarly social media has become very very popular some of the major apps uh, you are already well aware about those then you have the digital uh, app which is digi locker for maintaining the digitized documents umang app we have already discussed we are also focusing on localization through artificial intelligence now cortana is one of the major virtual assistants that comes with windows 10 similarly you have intelligent uh, technologies that are coming on the cloud platforms this could be windows android and so on you have screen readers with hindi support that are coming up uh, microsoft has been one of the leaders for those prediction of thought through the project bhasha in 1998 has been one of the major aspects where intellig uh, artificial intelligence on the phone keyboards helps you to learn and predict the next words that are about to come onto the page you have enam which is the agricultural marketing platform that is there you have following new mandis that have been established under the national agricultural market uh, you have the rtm which is the real time monitoring that has been seen mainly for the wash project which is the water uh, hygiene and sanitation issues that are focused on so those are some of the major techniques that we focus on now whenever we are talking about the integration what it requires is the flow channel campaign and analytics how the information flows what are the channels through which it flows what are the various uh, campaigns that are used and finally the analytics the next is focusing on uh, the integration of the various countries program so you have the collaboration of unicef that has coming up the members of the rural households that are there uh, each of the state have launched their virtual programs which is the interactive voice response systems in india we have seen those in gaya in bihar sonbadra mirzapur badhoi in uttar pradesh where 
these have been launched as of now and this is a pre-recorded message as a communication channel that has been done you report is a free message to messaging tool which has been developed by rapid pro and this has been used by unicef and its partners to benefit 8 million people across the globe the idea is to assess the knowledge practices and the attitude during the covid response and to create a kind of kind of conversation that could uh, actually take place social cash transfer program has started through the rapid pro in the regions of nepal that has been seen we are also seeing seeing a series of developments in the form of accountability transparency and real time monitoring that has been seen the next focus is on the migratory models now herit todaro model is one of the major models that have been discussed we have covered the todaro's model in a separate class where we have focused on how the uh, uh, concept of rural urban migration actually takes place so just go through that uh, class very very important then the next is how uh, the Population has seen a significant uh, change, be, be it in the concept of safe dwelling, be it in the uh, concept of being the workforce that is being used or the mapping of the migrants that are seen. The next we focus on is how do we phase out the return of the migrant workers. So what are the processes that could be done now? Uh, IGNU's educational program is very, very important. It began in 1991 and on the Doordarshan network, it has it is coming thrice a week every morning. And similarly, you have the various uh, continuation program that have come up with uh, UGC, IGNU, NCRT and NIOS. We have satellite communication through SITE, which is the satellite instructional television experiment that has come up, which is again important. EduSet is again a very, very important program that India has released. We have covered a separate lecture again on EduSet, very, very important. The next important things that we focus on is again the COVID issue and the transmission that takes place. So we have covered those in the previous lecture. So you can just go back onto the previous editions where we have discussed more about uh, the COVID in detail. Then uh, some other apps include the Kisan Sabha app which has been developed by the Central Road Institute of CSIR. It basically maintains a supply chain and freight transport uh, management system connecting the farmer to the supply chain and making uh, the harvest reach the market at right time and the procurement of fertilizer and the seeds by the farmers. So again important, MSME Champions, it is being launched by uh, the Union Ministry for MSME and it's a control room come management information system or an MIS system which basically focuses on uh, the systems like artificial intelligence data analytics and machine learning along with the ICT to have a kind of real-time basis for uh, the various uh, processes that could take place and it's a network of control room along with the physical infrastructures that could be developed for COVID-19 uh, transmission what are the innovations are done that are nodes clean UV blaster both of those are being developed with ultraviolet technology and ultraviolet disinfection system to basically sanitize the nodes, the bank currencies and then disinfect the uh, the gadgets uh, in the laboratories and the offices. We are also focusing on uh, innovation technologies which could be in the form of foot operated devices for hand sanitization, uh, other support systems and creating a competition challenge for the COVID issue. Uh, Swasti Vayu is another uh, system that has been developed. It, it is a non-invasive ventilator that has been developed through micro control process system that is there and this is a kind of simple uh, to use without any specialized nursing that could be required it is cost effective compact and could be configured with the indigenous component and therefore ideal for treating the covid patients then if we talk about the research and development in india india stands at a significant uh, record we have we are third in the world in terms of the numbers of sciences and engineering graduates uh, we have doubled our research papers in terms of million populations in the last uh, 20 years. You have various indicators that are seen. India's gross expenditure on the R&D has tripled in the last 10 years. We are among the third countries in the world to have scientific publication of the data under NS NSF. Uh, we are ninth in the positions for the resident patent filings where you have nearly 32% per percent of the patents being filed by Indian residents across the globe and then we have a significant increase in the number of researchers per million population which has doubled in the last 20 years as we said. Goal program which is going online as leaders by 
the ministry of tribal affairs with partnership with facebook has been important to train and empower the rural tribal youth and that mainly focuses on the activities like horticulture it talks about food processing beekeeping and tribal art uh, we are also focusing on uh, how the efforts have been leading to development in these areas this could be in the form of loans through mudra scheme it could be in the form of financial inclusion through uh, the jandan yojana talking about startups being established through the start up india the stand up india project projects and then we have the international yoga day where we are talking about a uh, uh, consensus where we focus on establishment of yoga yoga comes from a sanskrit we, a word yug which means to unite or to join and it aims to jo uh, join the mental and the physical capabilities of an individual to reduce the issues of uh, manage the issues of hypertension diabetes and so on so with this we cover our major headings for the June edition, which mainly focused on technology, some of the most probable questions from this section could be Umang app, the Kisan app, and then we have the Rupe, the B map, uh, talking about the AT, uh, the Atal Innovation Mission, focusing on the chatbot, Corona coverage, and Cortana are some of the major issues that are there. We would be covering many such important topics. So stay tuned. Have a wonderful day ahead.